Welcome oh, oh to God, the new Jesus. show. You have to talk. To welcome new. to the old class. We're kicking it so insanely old school. Right instantly, now. you instantly clipped the mic so hard. How did I do that? Maybe and it was maybe it was the fault of the person on the levels. Uh, it was not because now, now the whole the whole system's blown. You just can't talk directly into it like we do with the I other one. You can't hear yourself. System blown. You just forgot that the, the techniques have been forgotten. Blown. Welcome to the new age. We to have grown the old to, age. We have grown Welcome to, to the modern. old age. We it's used to record age. like this. Come here, come here, come here. Let me see your butt. Podcast to the novelist. Crap monster. <laughs> Our audio architects have grown too modern and do not know any longer know how to build audio cathedrals. That's true. What the fuck does that mean, Playboy? Well, this is an ancient piece of super technology. This is. This is a Zoom H4. H6. H6. H3. H4, I think. I no, it is an H6. Zoom H3. I love this I would thing. like to Zoom with H3 on go-karts at I'd motherfucking Jungle Rapids in Wilmington, North Carolina. different types of ways to podcast. <clears throat> Talk to him about his daily routine. Talk to him about his struggles with Tourette's. <laughs> he has Tourette's? You didn't know that? That's why he's always going, Rah! Does Tourette's make you fucking fat? No. Oh, his choice well, is Well, his tick is to eat foods. Oh. <laughs> his tick is eating He'll be talking food. and he has to eat a donut. <laughs> oh, my God. He can't control it. He's, he's Dude, a, he's I, my about tick to is that I a, need to eat a donut bit, every morning. Dead. What the fuck? He's about to say a cuss so bad, and he stops himself by just stuffing yeah. He doesn't have vocal Tourette's, from what I remember. I think his Tourette, <laughs> if you watch videos of him for long enough, you'll notice that his face, <laughs> which, you have. which I did. I was a big fan of him when I was 16. Really? really? Yeah. I always hated that's him. That's crazy. So I, I thought he was, I like I can't even videos. imagine a person being that a fan is, of that That's guy. the one time that you and me won on something that we didn't, he liked when he was 16 that we didn't like. Yeah. yeah. Usually you like this, you have the you right like read. like the cool stuff. Mm. But this time, this time I was you wrong. Were, you yeah. were whack, man. But that's crazy. No, his, his early stuff with the reaction stuff was funny. Um, then he I sucked never liked completely. Reaction Vape Nash was the the t- the tip of the iceberg, the downfall. But the tip of the iceberg, as in, it was the best it ever got, and then it never got better. Yes, mm. exactly. <laughs> Vape Nash, which is Vape a video Nash. where he walks around. I don't know anything about. Him. But if you watch a video of him for long enough, you'll see him go like. <clears throat> He I opens that his was him eyes being wide. Funny. No, no, no. He opens his eyes wide like a big cartoon character. Oh. Uh. Well, all respect to Mr. Klein. Mr. Klein. Clean. Mr. Clean. Yo, mm. bald ass. Is he bald, too? Yeah, he's bald. Well, actually, actually, he's him. got hair. Actually, respect to him and his wife. Mm. His wife yeah. who's slaughtered endless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His evil wife. <laughs> his slaughtered evil, endless. Evil Ethan, wife. no. Ethan. That's how she talks. You, Ethan, you have to be Ethan, nice. Ethan, you have to be nice. That fucking Bill Burr interview is the most brutal thing I've yeah. ever watched in my entire life. Yeah, I think I never... I think I I think I didn't watch it. I watched too lazy to talk about it. But you never saw that then when it first came out. No, dude, it was brutal. Yeah, let me set the scene. Ethan Klein with his number one hero, Mister Bill Burr, straight out of Boston. Bill Burr, Bill Bill, Mister Bill Burr, Bill Burr Baggins, right. Bill Burr, Bill Burr, going to the Shire, which is <clears throat> H Three Studios, and Ethan the Shire brings up the fact That's that Bill Burr has brothers and sisters. And Bill Burr has a complete <laughs> meltdown for no reason. It's so fucking bizarre. It's like how are how are you that famous and you don't want people to know that you have brothers and sisters? He has a whole I bet, show about I bet it. he was getting annoyed as fuck and he was just he was just waiting for an excuse it yeah. has to go to be off that. and do his patented. Burr he was rant. like he was like come on, and then he's like, can we cut that out? <laughs> cut out and they the, didn't cut it out. They didn't cut it. Cut out the Bill Burr brothers yeah. and sisters. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are here in a hotel in beautiful Chicago, Illinois. In the it's loop. actually quite rainily bad. It's yeah. so rainy and it's so bad, and we're in the worst part of Chicago, and it sucks so bad. Yeah, we well, got a, hat t- a hotel on O Block. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. It, it was cheap. It was. Oh, we had to literally check in. I yeah. I went hotel. on. Yeah. The thing is, everyone we saying had to check, check in. in. Then we had to check in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They were saying check in on O Block. Check on on O Block. So here we are at so the La Quinta on O Block. La Quinta O Block. La Quinta O Block by Wyndham uh, Suites, and uh, yeah, it's not that nice of a hotel. 
Um, it's the most crowded hotel I've ever been in. Yeah. Well, yeah, because everybody here, I mean, well, they're all here on gang business. They are it's, so, it's, uh, people for, it's Bloods and Crips from way out of town who are here so, for meetings. They're so, at this in. place, they're so stingy and scared of homelessness more than anywhere else yeah. I've ever been yeah. that in order to get the Continental Breakfast, you have to give them a free breakfast ticket Which is that a they give you when you check in. Bullshit Continental Breakfast, by the it's way. A, the all worst Continental, Continental breakfast, breakfast is bullshit. But this is an especially bad one, and also that you can't get You don't seconds. even get to serve your own fucking food. Yeah, and you have to spend a ticket it in order to get it yeah isn't that crazy and this well, hotel by the way breakfast is so bad anyway this is an expensive hotel by the way this was 88 dollars a night for are real? you kidding me do yeah. we have that in the fucking budget 88 dollars definitely not no way are you completely stupid dude how are we even gonna get home we didn't even booked our flights yet i don't know man i figured we'd do some of these what hitchhike you forget we're you not want on us video to review anymore. food wait where's the camera <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go around reviewing <laughs> meals. Thumbs up for money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're gonna go on TikTok live and eat food in a car. That How we do, rent. do people make money on that? Yeah. <clears throat> How does that work? Is so like- the way, I mean, the way that it works is you get gifts, and gifts are pictures of ice cream, and pictures of gifts are. I think m- Joe is just landed. Fuck him, Joe. Oh, has that's just, good for We him. have begun our descent, and we will Uber to the hotel. Okay, but um, you get. You, you you know the videos of the woman going ice cream so good. Yes, I so fucking those are, love her. Those are gifts, and the is gifts cost okay? real world money, and then you get to keep the money. Is she still okay? Have you? Do you guys Pinky see? Doll? Did you see Pinky Doll how, when she gets mad at her son and she says, "I'm gonna we're gonna sell the dog." <laughs> <No>. <laughs> she says, "If you don't," if, she goes like, "She's French Canadian." Right? Yeah, yeah. And she which is this. crazy. You shouldn't be French Canadian. Why? <laughs> She should be the queen of the French Canadians. I agree. She is. Um, and she, the, her son is doing something off camera, and she goes, that is disgusting. I've never seen anything so disgusting. You are disgusting. If you don't stop doing that right now, I'm going to sell the dog. Oh, my God. Like, on TikTok Live. <laughs> That's so and she amazing. she just snaps back. Well, she's saying it, it in yeah. Quebec, right? And she goes like, sorry, guys. Ice cream, so good. Ice cream, Ice cream. so good. She says it in quebec right? Quebecois. Is it Quebecois? Is like that Quebec-y. I think so. Quebecian? French? French. No, it's different from French. It's French. I've heard it's, it's different, different from it's, French. It's a different dialect. It's of some French. kind of muddled, muddy frog voice. French. French. Easy for play. Yeah, that's French. Well, that's a, I thought XQC was from like the North Pole or something. I thought shit he was from Jamaica. Why is with this the internet episode today, guys? <laughs> Dude, wait. We're doing a YouTube review. <laughs> I'm down. What have you guys been watching on YouTube recently? I thought XQC was Jamaican. No, man. I thought he was one of those rare white Jamaicans. They're not I was that watching, rare. Well, you guys were here for this, but I was watching my African village videos again, and I learned oh, yeah. about there's a guy said that there's a snake that lives in the forest outside his village, and when it bites you, you either become old or young. <laughs> yeah. What's his name? Adventure Zach? Something like that. His yeah. name is Zach? Yeah. That's he's a cute cool. name. I really like him a lot. He's that nice. video was awesome. But the guy who says it is someone else. He's like interviewing somebody. Ah. And he says that there's a snake. And he says that it's like if you get bitten in January, it will look like it is 10 years later in January. Wow. Whoa. But yeah. if you get bit in did February... Did he show anybody? He didn't say. Did he show like a little ass kid and he was like, this This is a... F- this no, he didn't is show... Or this he man just, is it was kind of This is 40. Huh? It was kind of just an aside in the video, but I wanted... The video was called Snake That Bites You Makes Your Skin Turn Old, <laughs> but he only mentioned it for like barely 10 seconds. About he it. barely did, and I really wanted a full... That's a horse shit. Full expose Snake on the... Snake That Bites You Makes Your Skin <laughs> Turn Old. <laughs> I really think that maybe science doesn't know about this snake yet, and no. there's not because you know what? A scientist got his nose buried in the books. He's not checking YouTube. That's mm-hmm. true. Science and a don't. book is not going to tell you about a snake. Wait, like that's a good point. There is a, a there is such a well of knowledge on YouTube that scientists think they're too good for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's ghosts in Africa as well. I've seen videos there's about go- what? There's, there is so they many. Said they proof found a ghost at midnight. They're lucky to have survived. The midnight ghost. Yeah. Well, that's I've when you find him. I've them. heard of him. That's when you find him. <laughs> I've heard of him. There's the so much ghost. proof of ghosts and the afterlife and... Uh, snakes. Snakes and zombies and aliens on YouTube that science uh, has completely ignored. I saw the Statue of Liberty dance on YouTube. I literally have seen that same video. Yeah, it's and so me scary. Too. We watched it together. Yeah. It is and one they, of the scariest videos I've horrifying. ever seen. And they pretend like that just didn't even happen. Even though there's a video proof of there's this. There's video proof of this and science just <coughs> wants to ignore it because, the, because, of, because of shareholders. Because of stocks, because they know that mm-hmm. people are gonna. Because the people who own the science uh, mm-hmm. experiment, people companies. are gonna take their money out of the Statue of Liberty. People, yeah. the investors are gonna take. There it is out money literally in the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, they're gonna it's, take it all the money bank. out. It is a world learn. bank for people who are too powerful to keep their money in. An I actually bank. think there's no money in there. 
I think there's gold in it. Mm-hmm. Gold is money. I think the whole thing is made out true. of some kind of green gold. Some kind of a green gold that science doesn't It's actually made, well, it, you know what? It's made out of copper, pennies. Mm-hmm. It's literally made out of melted down pennies that the French stole from the U.S., melted down, and gave us back as a cruel shut parody up. of oh, our bro, economic shut don't even is get me heated about your this. Pennies. We, we not think even they get are beautiful women. What of our pennies? We think, of we your, think pennies. your pennies are... That's not you're getting French. me scared of the French. I I'm never not scared at all. I'm scared of the French in my life. Oh, you're getting scared of the French. I'm getting scared of the French. You said you're. I'm not scared of the French. Because they're going to take my penis, is what you said. And turn it into and a turn woman. Into a green melt woman. it down. That's the most French thing I've ever heard. They're going to melt down heard. my penis and turn it into a green. That would woman. be an incredible yeah. art project to melt down the penises of one thousand men and make a sculpture. Would do, do you think how, how many men in the in the America do you think if you sent out an email blast to every single man in America, how many people could you get to just on a just on a whim? Probably a third send of the population. their wieners in. Nowadays, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, a good chunk. Mm-hmm. I would fucking mine be gone. Would you, wait, you would send in your physical wiener? Or like, yeah. I feel like a lot of men... Do you have to remove it yourself? Two-thirds of the in? country would... <coughs> no, you go to, like, go to a, a clinic. Yeah, you go to like a double okay. wide in a library. Because I was going to say, if you have to get rid of it yourself, there's almost nobody, probably. Mm. Yeah. Two-thirds maybe, of this maybe country... Maybe schizophrenic people. They would misread the email, send a photo. Right? Oh, yeah. But the one-third... So everybody would send something. So everyone would send something. <laughs> of course. Well, it's not okay, a, yeah. let's, let's be realistic. Also, and let's one be third even would send a photo, one third would send their penis, and one third would ignore. Like Comment down love. below if you were the third that would send something. But I, I also forgot what I was going to say. Oh, well, that's perfectly oh, fine, man. This is really, fractures. truly a throwback episode in that way. I don't think I forgot things that much. I forget things more nowadays than I used to. Mm. There's something about this... Uh, I feel like we've been in this hotel for like two weeks. I mean, yeah. we basically have been. I didn't leave. I left for. I left the hotel for twenty minutes yesterday. Yesterday I was feeling very sick. We've been here for thirty six hours. I did about an eight hour shift on RuneScape yesterday. Oh yeah, you've you been doing eight hour shifts on RuneScape every day though. Yeah, but mostly on my real. Phone. That has nothing to do with being sick. Mostly on my phone. Yeah, oh, yeah. I guess being sick makes you go on the computer. I was, so this time I went on the computer and I boiled my balls with my laptop for. Mm-hmm. You're never gonna have a kid, dude. I something about that used to scare me, and now I kind of like it. Yeah, dude. You the, and it's extreme heat the heat yeah my laptop is gonna been getting really hot and impossible to cool down so i just have to shut it down ah. you get scared well i just it just gets really loud and hot your balls are supposed to work as a heat diffuse i will take it i'll put it in my backpack uh, to device. go somewhere and I'll, I'll take it out like six hours later and it's like hot enough to hurt me don't your balls aren't your balls hotter than your body they're are they're they're always i think they're hotter or colder they're always reg being regulated by the how your sack hangs is that Mine's true? Low. Yeah, that's why your sack contracts and hangs. When down. your sack hangs, is it trying to get colder? Or I high. think it's trying to get colder. Yeah, my oh. sack is real high up. Like, like a if base you get player. too hot, your sack will hang down because it's keeping you further away from your body heat. And then when <laughs> it's cold, it'll, it'll, it'll bring your their base bring your way up by way the up. chest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's well, my, exactly. It's the two different is. styles of bass playing. It's basically the the you got new your metal, new metal the hanging low down, hanging bent all over. Yeah, the long hair and fucking American football ass. Do you got John Entwistle balls or do you got Mike Dirt balls? It changes, man. That's how about that. Upright base. Mm. When the balls move over to the side, I don't know penis. any upright base player names. Damn it. Uh, Ornette Coleman? No, he was. Who the saxophone? fuck is that? What did he play? Don't know. Why, Why do you know me? so many names? I told you I took so many music history classes. Yeah. Ornette Coleman was the inventor, well, not inventor, but one of the people who was really big into free jazz. Unless he was the inventor, I don't remember. Last classes. night we were watching uh, Prisoner of Azkaban and Chamber of Secrets, and it honestly intoxicated me. Yeah, dude, and get, guess what this motherfucker was saying? Oh the whole my time? god, the yapper himself saying Harry Potter. Nah, sucks. dude, I don't fuck with Harry Potter. Fuck he Harry knows Potter. Every fact about the movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't like. Actually, the scene where the Dementors come in is actually <laughs> not that cool. And they come in. And, oh, they, oh, yeah, great, Lupin. That was Bro. you the whole time. I do not <coughs> F with Lupin Harry Potter. Lupin is so fucking fire. How do you not like Harry Potter, bro? I like different kinds of You are things. just so... You know what it is, man? I like the Gong Someone, Jabbar. No, I like Dune. No. You don't like Dune. You're That's complaining about Dune bullshit. all the time. <laughs> that is the same bullshit. It's all the same fucking movie, man. There's a beautiful hero. You know what I'd like? Dude, the, other, the other night the he, was talk, he was talking about Star Wars a bunch and we were talk, when we were talking about Dune. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh man, you might like Dune because a, a lot of it is directly copied about copied from Star Wars. like uh, directly lifted. And he hit me with like a... Mm. I didn't hit you with you a... Did, uh, you did. I you did like, a when? mentally challenged voice to impress. <laughs> you to like, do an oh, yeah, to, oh yeah, man. I was like, okay. I didn't do that. You did do that fully. Well, and I was okay. nice and I didn't. I just let it slide. But now I'm bringing it back because you hit it on Harry Potter. You know what? 
it's speaking of speaking of Harry Potter. Yeah. Want to tell if we want to get into this? We want to get into this right Let's now. Let's do this shit. Fucking yeah. Say okay. It, man. Okay. If we want to get into this, somebody in this room did not believe me <laughs> when oh, I wow. said when well, I said true. that Dumbledore said. The school is going to get a school tree. At the okay, end again, of Harry again, Potter 2. It's, it's the wording here. Okay, the let, wording me, let, me, let me mediate Paraphrase, this. I've put, a, let I put me the word this. sick in front of it. At the end of Harry Potter 2. I put the word we, sick me in and front Cameron, of it. Uh, to be fair, me and Cameron yes, were talking about something. I don't remember what we were talking about, but we were a bit... You, you guys were, were complaining about how I don't like the movie. And okay, we were complaining about how you didn't like the movie, and you were so locked in looking for flaws as we said this. That you are the one who heard this, but uh, after we, after the movie had ended, Patrick said, "Oh, and what Dumbledore said that they get a they get a school treat." I didn't say it like that. I was just letting you guys. know. No, you said, "Oh, said, yeah." Dumbledore said they got a school I was treat, and, you know. and Cameron immediately was like, "He did not say they get a school treat." And then you said, "Yes, he did. He said they get chocolate." <laughs> he said they get chocolate frogs, and that's why they're all applauding. I was speculating because I didn't really know what was going on, but I said that they. <laughs> what is that? Wine? That's the sound of my rage. Oh my God! That's the sound of my rage. Is something happening? I think this is a nuclear bomb. This alert. is a nuclear alert. Whoa! There's some kind of Pat. That was very brave to go and look out of the window. There's some kind what of ringing right now? in the yeah. hotel. I don't know what it is. Okay, it's okay, well, starting it's to fade. Well, anyway, and the, anyway, what I, what I, I said. Like to, what I, okay, okay, okay. No. I, I'm prefacing this by saying Patrick was right. He was completely right. They did. He did I say said, sit down, sit I down, bitch. He was half right. Sit, I, down. Sit, sit, down. Down. sit down, sit down, sit down. No, I will not sit. And listen, this is what I Patrick said. said. That he did not. He the school will get a school treat. That is not what you said. You said I said stumbled. They I said, said they did not get a school treat. Starting out as basically jokingly arguing, and then Patrick said. Dumbledore literally just said the line, "You are going to receive a school treat." He and I said, said he that. did not say that. He said you were going to get a school. He treat. He did not. He said, "As a school treat, we are canceling exams." He said, "Well, he did not say you are going to." You said we, he said you are going to receive a school semantics. treat. Then he gave them this chocolate frogs and they all argument. <laughs> This argument went on for long enough that Patrick pulled up the script. <laughs> <laughs> Which was not cool, by the way. What do you mean it's that not is cool. not that's googling, that's man. That's facts and logic. You can't Google that's facts with, and a, logic. with a, a little argument like that. You can't Google. You Google the script. You can't Google the script. He didn't. And the script. He did, he were, you were right about the word school treat, but you were wrong about everything. Else. Everything else you were no. wrong about. You said no, it was no, no. chocolate. I was correct frog. about school. You treat, said that it was, was a chocolate. I said Dumbledore said the school is going to get a school treat. I don't remember what it was. You didn't it's say that. You didn't, frogs say, you or didn't something. say that. That's what I said. I stand by this. And also, this <laughs> argument went on for so long that we didn't realize the door was wide open to the oh, room. Yeah. So people were so probably everyone in the hallway heard me and Cameron screaming. They don't get a School treat. School treat. He said school treat. <laughs> it was pretty. He said school treat. I said he did say up. school. He said treat. school treat. treat. So he said school. Up. I smartened up. Jackass. Yeah. But that's also when we were in Minneapolis. <clears throat> I was trying to make. There was somebody sitting right by the green room door, and Caleb or Cameron went outside. I think both of you guys went outside, and I was trying to make it look like we were arguing backstage. And I couldn't think of anything to say, so I just started pointing at Cameron and going, "Smarten up! You <laughs> smarten up right now!" That was that a funny ar- type of argument to be having backstage. Yeah, saying "smarten up," "smarten up" is well, really you were funny. Foolishly, I didn't act foolishly. You it was all a ploy. We even the whole thing was a, pl- a ploy. When we're yeah. in backstage in the green room, we are the most prim and proper blokes. We don't do we're anything. We're not blokes. We're gentlemen. Yeah. What's the difference? <laughs> oh, buddy. Explain it to Buddy, me, there's Egglobe. There's a big difference between What'd a bloke you and a gentleman. Anglo? I thought you called him Egglobe. Yeah, Egglobe. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take it with pride. You know why? Because I'm a gentleman. No, you're a, a bloke. A bloke fancies himself a pub, while a gentleman fancies himself a club. Like a strip club? No. See, like here a in the dancing States, club? we've completely... Oh, you're talking about like a, a hunting club. We've the word gentleman's club <clears throat> as the same way that we did football. That is... In a, wait... Football, yeah, we did do that. Mm-hmm. Wait, was it called? Would soccer? Would soccer called football before football was invented? Yes. Yeah. So why American did they fucking football. say football? Americans did American that because football. we're rude. We just thought that nobody would care about football unless it uh, people were, got tricked into going to see it. Oh, yeah. but then they showed up. And they were like, "This is way better." Yeah. This is way How way did better. Soccer, the word we'll call it better about. football. Actually, it's American fake, football. Yeah. yeah. Do they call it soccer in Canada? Uh, I guess we'll find out on 412. Yeah, or on 420 when we Big get high enough plug. to go expand our mind into the realm of Canada. We get high enough to learn. Yeah, damn. Somebody gave me some weed after that Minneapolis show. Uh-huh. 
Man, I gave that away about 10 minutes after. Yeah. Mm. I yeah. got really scared. So I think the same person asked me, and I said, I'm going to call the police. I still you. feel like I'm going to go to jail if I have weed on me. Yeah. But that's what made weed fun. I think I think actually actually that's a I think that yeah. I liked weed until it was legal legal yeah. until in North Carolina there it was also, a it year also, where you yeah. started just getting a ticket uh-huh. and I it, weed started affecting me differently. It, it's less fun too when you're not when you don't have to hide it from anybody even outside of being illegality. I feel like yeah. it stopped being as fun once I moved out of my parents' house. If you stop smoking at, like the mo- part of the appeal of weed i guess is to smoke weed and watch netflix upstairs and you come yeah. down and you're it's a, it, hey. you smoke yeah. weed you, you, you enter a, a metal gear solid yeah. when you walk down every single time that i've ever smoked weed is the same feeling as like going to a haunted house like Getting every scared? single time that you i yeah. you're being scared by <laughs> that's the, that was chainsaws. the appeal of weed for me was like i would smoke it i would take one hit of a joint or something and then be like oh my god Everything around me is so scary. Yeah. <laughs> the world mm-hmm. is way too big. Mm-hmm. And uh, my mom and dad are going to find out that I s- did this, and I'm going to get grounded. They're your forever. mom and dad are going to find out you were in a haunted house. <laughs> that I, that <laughs> That's I the same <laughs> feeling. That I turned my, the world my is big. A haunted house. Where are you right now? <laughs> Nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I read a scary book at <laughs> the <laughs> library. <laughs> What's oh, that's that? That's the librarian's book card. Well, it, turns, <laughs> it turns the world into a... Weed turns the world into a haunted house for me. I, I actually agree with that. that. I can't smoke yeah. weed because of how scared I get. I yeah. get scared as fuck, too. I haven't smoked Even weed in... the tiniest amount. Oh, shit. I haven't smoked weed in almost three years. to give you your flowers and not weed flower do not even mention flowers right now because you're gonna smoke yeah man it's gonna make me <laughs> fucking smoke when i think about flowers because mm. of how beautiful they are i want to look at them while i smoke flower smoking <laughs> weed just sitting on a couch and looking at a, <laughs> a edible arrangement mm. that's basically what i used to do yeah me too that's like 85 yeah. percent i used to smoke weed and look at album covers i <laughs> i would do the similar shit I smoked, I had this DVD that I bought at Goodwill that was like this Swedish, like, this Swedish made, it was like one of those movies that you show to like school, like your classroom, it was like a teacher DVD, and it was a DVD about bees, and I would watch that, I would smoke and then watch that, and it was so sick. Yeah. It was, but the, the DVD menu had a loop, I left it on one time, and the DVD menu had a loop, it was like the play, like, and then languages button. But it had like a bunch of kids going, Buzz, Buzz, I want to fly like a bee. <laughs> and that was playing on a loop. That's scary. It scared fuck, the man. shit out of me. I remember I, I left and then I heard it in the bedroom and then I was walking up and I could hear like, <laughs> it was like all dark. You and buzz, I could buzz? hear a bunch of children saying, Buzz, I want to fly like a bee. I didn't know what it was. I just heard chanting mm-hmm. in the room and I was like, oh yeah. my God. A demon. A cult is here <laughs> a for demon you. is in the, the room. bee demon. I pretty much have seen Nymphomaniac Part One and Two like thirty times because that's what we used to smoke weed and watch. That's crazy. We thought it was the funniest movie of all time. That's crazy art school stuff. The part where yeah, he's your com- your your art no, school dude. Vibes. The part where he's on the train. I've never seen where it. The, uh, there's a Me part neither. in the first movie where the, a guy's on a train and the the main character is like talking to the guy and he's like, "Yeah, I'm on the way right now to." Uh, do a, uh, a sperm donation or sp- like IVF sperm thing so we can finally get my wife pregnant. I'm on my way to a and sperm And then she thing. starts like sucking his dick. He's got a sperm appointment. She starts. She uses suck- up all his sperm she, before the appointment. And she uses up his giant blast that he's been saving for months. He's been out of town for months. Saving and He's coming it? back to pregnate his wife. Damn, and she steals and she it. Suck- and he's she like getting, his he's sperm? getting sucked by her and he's like, no, no, this sucks. Fuck, oh, this Teenagers sucking my dick. She steals it. And Who then directed she directed this? Lars von Trier. Lars, Lars von, von Trier. Trier. Yeah. Lars von Trier should be. This guy's a psycho. Yeah. He's a complete psychopath. And he has he nympho. has ideas about sperm that I never had considered until yeah. I smoked weed. I should check this movie out. It's a really awesome movie. Who's I think. the lead? A some lady. Uh, Shia LaBeouf's in it. As a sperm donor. As a sperm, he sexes He's the girl. Sperm. He sexes her. Yeah. It's basically about somebody who's addicted to sex. That's interesting. Yeah. He seems like he's positing a lot of interesting ideas in this film. Yeah. What if a girl I, was, I a ho- starting to understand why he's so artistic. Yeah. 
What uh, if a girl was a sexy hoe? A girl was a sexy hoe running around what Europe. What if a hoe was running around sucking everybody <laughs> off? It's basically the movie. Von Trier. Yeah, I gotta make two movies about this. <laughs> I don't. I, need to I can't. I can't get all the stuff I, I want to get into so part many one. Fucking ideas <laughs> about a girl being a hoe. I gotta split this one into two parts, man. <laughs> yeah, it's actually quite a sad movie, but you guys wouldn't know that because you yeah, never. It's sad for you because you wish it was about a boy. Uh, yeah. yeah, having sex with boys. She does have sex with boys. Dumbass. You, a boy having sex with a boy is what I say. Wait. That would be the same movie to me. I don't exactly, see any difference. That's what I'm saying. I don't see any that's difference. That's what I'm saying right now. Mm-hmm. Me, I see a world of difference. What's the difference? If that was a guy sucking the sperm out of the other guy's penis. I would say this is acceptable. But it's unacceptable as a woman? Yeah, yes. man, she's slutting. So the guy would be a hoe? She's I being think improper. The, you why think is you it? What just came out of his mouth? The guy would be a hoe? Wait, why? The The guy would be a pimp. Mm-hmm. Why is it that when girls fuck, suck random guys on train and get their last bit of jizz that they've been saving for their wives... They're hoes, but then when a guy does it, you think he's a pimp. Heroes. Why is that? <laughs> They're heroes, and they get saluted. He can recycle the sperm. The guy's sperm goes in back into the guy's body. Yeah. Through the, all systems are connected. When, is that? Have men, you ever looked at the roadmap men, of ancient when Rome? When gay men swallow sperm, it goes back into their balls mm-hmm. immediately. All tubes in the human body lead to the balls. On is the, that on why a woman, I shoot all, nothing? All tubes lead outside of the body. What nothing can stay in the body. When I shoot, there's nothing. Is that, that is because, because you are nine years it old. It's because you're nine. I'm not nine. You're nine years old. You you got cancer as a kid. I'm not. Wait, the waving is confusing me a lot. Wait, stop waving your hands. Why did a Jedi never do that? You are nine years old. (laughs) (laughs) That would have solved every problem. (laughs) You're just a little kid. (laughs) We we have to arrest you right now. Mm, You are just a little kid. You are not allowed here. I need to play with my (laughs) toys. Or I need to play People with my always toys. talk about the plot holes I of like, George. oh, the GC four two one. What are you doing? I'm playing with my toys. <laughs> the lightsaber, like, Sounds oh, you fun. Can turn off the lightsaber <laughs> and then turn it on and stab someone. And they always talk about that. But the yeah. real plot hole is, yeah, the Jedi mind trick. Just turn him into a kid. Turn him yeah. into a kid. If that you could Jedi, do that. You're a rock. You're a beautiful thing girl. Is so dumb. The I told thing? you the other night. I told you last night. I'm not into Star Wars or anymore. That's not true. That's such that's, cat, that's man. I told cap. you guys. I said it. You I talked said about it. it for two that's hours the, the other night. Reverse shoot, what did man. I say? That, we already talked about it. No, you no. What did I it. say last night about it? I last said night I don't watch you said it. you I don't watch up. it anymore because it's kid stuff. You said you grew up. I grew up. When was the last time you watched all of the movies in a row? 2015. That's actually way further back than I would have thought. Yeah. I thought that was a weekly type of ritual no, no, for no. you. But they weren't all out yet. Wait, but wait, but when was the last time you watched all the X-Men movies in a row? <laughs> that was a couple weeks ago. <laughs> a couple weeks ago. Because My you girlfriend had never you seen them up. before, so I was like, okay, well, yeah. these are actually fucking dope as fuck, so we should watch them. Two of them are dope. No. Yeah. I no, think the so. guy, I think every third one is bad until the sequel series, and then the last two are bad. So there are, let's see the good ones, X1, X2. Yeah, yeah, uh, okay, thanks, man. First Class, Days of Futures Past, this Logan. Is, I miss the soundboard right now. That's five, mo- there's five good movies. Mm-hmm. Oh, The Wolverine is really good. X-Men, X-Men Origins, Origins is, is actually it's sick. It's cool. Everyone hated on it, but yeah. with hindsight, seeing how every superhero Dude, movie is now, when he's in the Civil Origins War, is sick. yeah. That thing is sick as well. Well, the worst thing is that Sabretooth is a completely <coughs> evil. He's the embodiment of evil in that movie. Aren't they brothers, though? It's his evil brother. That would kill me to have an evil brother. Yeah. Because you still want to chill Imagine with him. Imagine if your brother fucking sucked. He's still your bro. He's still your brother. But then if, you, if you're fighting in the Civil War, he's on the other side? Uh-huh. Oh, is that the whole thing? Was it was brother against brother in the no, Civil no, War? No, no, because they fought together in the Civil War. Oh, really? They did? The yeah. evil guy on the was on the, the Union side? Well, think about it. Think about how evil this country is. So you think the Confederates were the good guys? I think that just every say. side of this country is bad. I think I'm going to play. Okay. So you think the slaves were in the wrong? I think that slavery is bad. You think that the slaves but were I bad? I think that the slaves were all innocent. Oh, that's that's actually great. You think the slaves were innocent? Yeah. Hot take. So, and you Pat. think that's a hot take, Pat? <laughs> in this country, a lot of people would disagree with me. Mm. Including you, including our world leaders, <laughs> which you are one of, which I am the I'm leader of the. St- you are the leader of your own world. <laughs> I'm the leader of my own world. Patrick World. Mm-hmm. Patrick World. Planet P. <laughs> 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 I want to live on no Planet slaves, P. There's no slaves, but there's unlimited food. I want to go to Planet P. 
badly. I would, I would, uh, I would leave Planet P. I want to renounce there for my citizenship for a few in Planet P. You have citizenship? I, d- I was born there. You were born on Planet P. <laughs> <laughs> I was born there. Patrick wasn't even born on Planet P. No, yeah, wasn't. they didn't even know who he was. He founded so. it. No, he didn't. He found it. I did find he it. He called it. Yeah, that's what I said. He it's found called it. Colonize- <laughs> it's called It's called Manifest Destiny, homeboy. And you <laughs> you got in there and you said Planet P that got to stand for Planet Patrick. Planet P that stands for Patrick and all the Pedians were. <laughs> the, <laughs> the Pedians? <laughs> the Pedians. Which is what the P used to stand for. Pedia. Pedia? Like Pedialyte? Because there's, yeah. there's a big puzzle piece that's missing from this planet. Planet Pedia. What's the puzzle piece? I don't know. It's on the look at the logo. What? Pedialyte look has Wikipedia. a puzzle piece. Oh, Pedia. Oh, it's Wikipedia's mm. logo. It's a planet wiki. Oh, uh, we should have a Patrick Pedia where you write <laughs> what you think about everything. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. <laughs> we have you write everything that you know about every <laughs> single topic. <laughs> <laughs> the Patrick Pedia. The Patrick Pedia. The Pat-pedia. That is such a great idea. It's just me paraphrasing idea. different wars. Yeah, just just literally like you writing or just like we uh, can knock it out in a couple text. days with the d- d- dictation. Yeah, just yeah. dictating everything that you <laughs> think happened with every historical event. What me, you know about the, the, every and single like person. The plot, plots of movies. It's weighted so crazily to movies and skateboarding. Yeah. yeah. We could set it up to like auto detect things, like and just link everything, yeah. like uh, everything he says. It's another page. Put this a is link a on brilliant idea. idea. This is an incredible idea. Because then when you somebody hit us up to program Patrick Pedia. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. then when you pass away, we yeah, have it's a decade. Yeah, it's it's, it's a resurrect you d- uh, with an AI. Dictionary. Yeah, a PD. It's the easiest because you are pretty much only the stuff that you know. Mm-hmm. I would say more <laughs> than anybody I've ever met. You are the you are solely the facts that you know about movies and TV. I know. Well, I know facts about how to tie my shoes. That's true. Th- that, that could that be would on be there a, too. That's that would a great be a huge article. article. Okay, let's uh, do that article right now. Yeah. yeah. So, <coughs> first, the first time I ever tied my own shoes. <laughs> the <laughs> beginning. <laughs> 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 encyclopedia. <laughs> so the. Fir- <laughs> no, come on, come on. Let's hear it. The fir- the first shoe tying happened in maybe 2007. Years after I was supposed to have it done. Years after. At Most ten years old, people. And I was in ten in two thousand seven. You old were. were you? No. How old were you then? Ten. Ten. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a late birthday. No, because I was ten in two thousand eight. You were ten you in were, both you years. Can ten. <laughs> you can be ten for both. You can be ten for both years. <laughs> you were definitely ten in two thousand seven. <laughs> At some point, I was ten. <laughs> okay, for this half is, of the this year, is, this is all going in the article. For half by the of way. the year, you were At ten. At some point. At some point. I was 10. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Patrick Pedia article. Okay. First two paragraphs done. First two paragraphs. And then one day it all clicked. <laughs> the SpongeBob song, finally, the, the Loop De Loop. And pull, I remember that. Which yep. will have a hyperlink to the song. Loop De Loop and Pull. Yep. Mm. I think a lot of Patrick Pedia would have me saying, and you already know what that is. Okay, so we're and already having another. That we're on our second. Uh, this is the detour. The, this is the, the, Pat- the Patrick Pedia, the entry for Patrick Pedia mm-hmm. on Patrick. So there's going to be a lot of hyperlinks uh-huh. that just say, "And you already know what that is," <laughs> and then it <include laughs> links to the actual <laughs> Wikipedia article. <laughs> okay, now do the Patrick Pedia one for World War Two. Okay, so World War Two started because Germany didn't have enough money because there was i remember this there was <laughs> apparently i remember this <laughs> so awesome <laughs> my history this is teacher gonna be the best me, website of this all is time. actually in a fucking amazing idea my history teacher told me that <laughs> there were well it was germany after but before it was prussia and you already know that mm-hmm. and then it became germany because the borders were changed because they everyone was like you what the hell did you fight us all for so we're going to change your borders. It's not going to be the we're going to distri- we're going to separate Austria. That's a new country now. It used to all be one big blob on the map. It's actually better one than what I could do uh, so far. Me too. And then they separated all, everything and then so Germany, everyone had to bring like they were bringing stacks of cash and wheelbarrows just to get uh and you already know what a wheelbarrow is. <laughs> so <laughs> link to that. And then they're bringing stacks of cash just to get like loaves of bread. So then, this one fella, 
laughing. This one fellow hyperlinked hyper hysterical laughing. <laughs> this one fellow, you click on it. It's Hitler, and it's just right after, just a ha 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 for a full paragraph. <laughs> okay. This one fellow was. Uh, he had some ideas, and a lot of it resonated with some of the people who were pretty much downtrodden, which you already know what that means. And they were, you know, a lot of people were angry, which anger leads to hate, and hate leads to suffering. When they caused suffering for a good chunk of the people in the country because they wanted to create an ethno state. And they got pretty far. They got almost there. <laughs> this is feeling. So uh, when, can I just the war? Can I butt in? Yeah, the, it feels like. But a lot of people lot didn't about... like what they were doing when they were annexing different borders, such as Poland mm-hmm. and other countries in the Soviet Union at that time. And you already know what, what it was called. Are. And you already know what that is. We can get to that later when mm-hmm. I get to the Cold War. Um, then. So then it was like fighting for a little bit. <laughs> fighting for So a then bit. it was like fighting for a little bit. Italy was involved, but then they weren't involved and no one really talks about that because Italy's country their Italy's government changes pretty much every week. I don't like how vague how vague you were about describing the Holocaust. I know. <laughs> you said they didn't like some people and It was this. a good chunk of the country. You keep saying that. why? Why don't you, why don't you be specific? You don't know it the was, specifics. It was Romani's, gays, communists, black people, Jewish people. He he went Jewish people last. Yeah, Interesting. Did. Well, grand finale. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's pretty much the ones that I mean. If you were going from, I guess, is it least casualties to most? I don't really know. I think there was casualties all around. <laughs> Casualties all around. <laughs> On all sides, there were casualties. But the Germans were the ones who were evil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They were, there was also something called the Blitzkrieg, which the Ramones parodied in their song, <laughs> Blitzkrieg, Blitzkrieg Bob. Bob. I feel like this article is going to end with like a quote that says, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> can, we do, <laughs> can we do the next one? <laughs> Uh, so then, okay, wait, wait. enough corners. Germany was Germany would like bomb the UK, which they would have drills for. Yeah, and which is explored in the movie The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. At the beginning, yes, yeah. At the beginning. Yeah, we all remember that. We all remember that. And you remember that. And you remember that. Link to the hyperlink. Scene. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube hyperlink. <laughs> Disney Plus hyperlink that links to the whole movie. Um, so then. Russia, they're getting, Germany's getting fucked on all fronts at some point. Mm Toward 1945, they're like, oh, man, we bit off a lot more than we can chew. We were were on top for a while, and now every single country's mad at us. And then we went to, the United States went to war with Japan for some reason, but they also went on the beaches in Normandy because at some point, I think it was Japan attacking... When the Axis powers attacked Pearl Harbor, that's when we decided, all right, that fuck it, let's get involved. Because uh-huh. we were an isolationist country because of... My uh, God. Who was it? Was it FDR? Yes, it was FDR. FDR was this cooking. This is insane. He's cooking. This is way more than I could do. He's uh, fucking cooking. But this, is, this all happens like towards the end of the war. We had to step in and help everybody at the end. We didn't want to get involved. There was also in... I don't even know when this was... But there's a photo that I saw the other day of 20,000 people in Madison Square Garden. <laughs> this, this being in the article, there was a photo I saw the other day. There's a photo I saw the other day of 20,000 people picture. in Madison Square Garden at a Nazi rally. So there were ideas being spread around. that uh, Sympathizers. I mean, there were sympathizers, yeah. There were Nazi sympathizers in the United States, and then we weren't getting involved. And then... Which imagine if your dad was like a your grandpa was like a Nazi sympathizer and you didn't know it like there's just a photo of him and on the back of it there's the like you find out about that photo yeah uh-huh. like the like the the Nazis in Madison Square Garden you see you see the date of the photo online 
and then you remember there's a photo of your grandfather on the fridge and you look in the back of it one yeah. day and you see that exact date I and did. it's a photo Dude, of it's, your it's, grandfather yeah. with his yeah. red dead medicine uh, it's and he was like no we were seeing the, the globe <laughs> trotters <laughs> that's the that's the team that you that's the logo for the team that used to fight used to play against before the generals that was, Dude, that was it's the so, generals old yeah. logo it's the so German fuck, generals it's so fucked up too cause that's that's uh, that your family it's not like your family member was in Germany and they got swept yeah. up no, they like, no this is full like, it's full like yeah blood thinks he's on the team yeah. Yeah. type yeah. vibes exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like dick rider like um, so anyway I feel like this has been going on pretty long the war well the war was going on for from 1938 to 1945 no 32 Hitler rose to power from 32 to 45 right I don't know. You can't say right. You can't ask for confirmation. Oh, yeah, can't. Well, I might right, be getting. That's our grand finale. Right? Yeah. What's okay. the grand finale? So of the World grand War II. finale of World War II. Italy, Mussolini gets hung from like a balcony, right? And they like all they basically Gaddafi'd him, which mm-hmm. y'all know what that is, Tosh point oh style. Yep. Um, did they? Well, I guess I can't ask. Let's say it. So from what I remember, maybe I'm conflating a lot of things here. Uh Uh-huh. I think they did stuff to his butt before they killed him. (laughs) You're talking about Gaddafi. Mussolini. Mussolini. I think they just hung him and his wife. They just shot him and his wife. They shot him. I don't remember. Okay. Well, you weren't supposed to answer. Oh, okay. Because you said I'm not allowed to ask. I'm not allowed to say right. Well, this won't this go is, in the this article. Is his, this, this won't is go in the article. To, this is All right, fin- the, my recollection of it. Finish so it Italy, they back out. Your recollection of when you were there. <laughs> of this, I was there. They back out early enough that everyone's like, well, we like your food. We'll let you stay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll, you'll, you're chill. Uh, Japan, we dropped two big-ass bombs on them. This is all explored in the film Oppenheimer. Uh-huh. Um, we dropped two bombs on them, altering the course of history for years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I that's, our, so. that's our pull quote. <laughs> okay. This will, and when the bombs drop, they say this will alter the course of history for years to come. Yes. That yeah. was the thing that Oppenheimer mm-hmm. said when he in- yeah. invented he it. He said, oh. I'm become death. I read that somewhere. I'm become death. I read that it's because I was trying to get some pussy, mm-hmm. according to the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, so then, yeah, then Russia. We don't give them enough credit for how much they fucked up over the, the fucked shit up over there. Because now it's like, oh, they're touching our computers and spreading misinformation. They kind of earned that. <laughs> You think that Russia should be able to spread information? They should be able to do whatever they they people. they killed Hitler. Yep. Well, he killed himself. So you think he's dead? I think Hitler's dead. Yes. Wow. Okay. Okay. But they right, bullied yeah. no, Russia. Bullied Hitler enough that he killed himself. That was the end of the war. Well, he kills himself. Then there's a bunch of trials. The Nuremberg trials. Then we take most of their scientists. Create NASA. This becomes now world history starting at World <laughs> War II. Uh, we take a lot of their scientists, create NASA and like mm-hmm. other things. Like uh, we, you know, uh, who was in, who was president at the time? It was Eisenhower. Immediately after FDR, we're not allowed to answer, man. I don't know. I don't know. I know who was president when the bombs were dropped. Yeah, it was FDR. Or no, Truman. No, yeah. Truman. Then Think Eisenhower. about Oppenheimer, bro. So Truman's president at the time, because FDR became a chair. <laughs> <laughs> and you already know what that is. And you know what that, you know what I mean and by that. And you already know why. Um, Truman became, or FDR became a piece of furniture. Truman, kind of a dick, from what I know. But he was like, well. He looked exactly like Gary Oldman. Yeah. And he's like, well, they got, they got this fancy new car called the VW Beetle. And mm-hmm. we're going to want to take, the scientists came up with that, so we're going to want to take that, put them all over. And when you see this, when you see this car, you got to punch somebody. And this is now law. This is when this <laughs> was invented. 
my God. Wait, I didn't ever I had even no idea. thought about that. Mm-hmm. Truman. And that is in because Truman was the such a bully past because of because the, the VW, uh-huh. yeah, the Volkswagen yeah. Nazi party. Yeah, it's Truman like was if such you a have bully. one, if you see one of these, it makes you so mad because yeah. you're so goddamn. American. You want to hate your fellow man. You have to mm-hmm. punch somebody. God damn it. Yeah. Ah. So that's the, the so we take the VW bug. We take well, we I and mean we, we created the highways, which was inspired by the autobahn. Um, also anabolic steroids, methamphetamine. This is, from my recollection, I learned most of that from that video of that prison chef saying that he idolizes Hitler. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I remember that. What's his name? I don't remember. The guy, he's like, he's making like the loaf in the microwave and he's like, man, y'all got to thank Hitler for this. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You cry. Yeah. Because he's talking about that. Which, if you can't, which you got to find that video. Yeah. You got to watch that video. Legendary vid. Mm Mm-hmm. So I'm still going with this. Yeah, dude. What happens after World War II? Uh, so after What's World War II, well, the World War, World War II went into the Korean War, which whatever that made mash. No one really knows much about the Korean War, but the Korean War only happened because of everyone was afraid of the domino theory, which What's is if one country becomes communist, right. all the other communi- all the other countries around them would become <laughs> communist. And we didn't like communism because it meant that we wouldn't get. Like healthcare or stuff, it would, it, you would lose money, is what everyone right. thinks. Mm-hmm. And but then, actually, but actually, you gain money, but everyone shares it. <laughs> is Kay. what basically that. And that's is. gonna be that's gonna be the communism article. Yeah. That's uh-huh. like an offshoot. Yeah. You lose money, but it's because you're sharing it with everybody. Uh-huh. Right. So um, Korean War. Well, Truman takes all those Nazi scientists, brings them over. The space program starts. Um, in the 50s, then Eisenhower becomes president. That's Korean War, and Eisenhower has that fruity ass photo of him sitting. No, uh, With Eisenhower. His legs Ike was his name. Ike Dwight Ike Eisenhower. I like Ike. I like Ike. Yep. He looks like a fucking alien. He looks like Roger from American Dad. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of does actually. He looks like he Roger from American Dad. Big old head, Dad. man. Big ass. Maybe he had hydrocephalus. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think people live to be 60 with a hydrocephaly. Is that true? Because my cousin's got it. Really? That's sad if that's true. I thought that that like, kills babies. No, no. They put a I shunt bet you in ca- your I head. I bet you can die from it. Oh. They put a shunt in your head and it like, drains some of the water. Damn, I would. I love some shunt right now. Yeah, that sounds good as fuck. Ooh, I wish I could have it. <laughs> hydrocephaly? You probably no, no, do. No. I don't He's, have hydrocephaly. You could have hydrocephaly. Yeah, I but think huge My cousin's got it. So you probably have you don't, it too. You don't have hydrocephaly, you have buttercephaly. I have butter. I have butter in my brain. <laughs> Beef tallow <laughs> stuck in your fucking head. Tallow I, got a Culver's, I got a Culver's butter burger for a brain. Okay, so then Eisenhower's president, Korean War. Okay, we've I'm heard that part many, many yeah, times. That's the one that my grandpa says he was in, but then I later learned he was here the whole time. In mm. Chicago. In not no, not in Chicago, in, in Somerville. And he only joined the Marines to get pussy, is what he also said. Did he think there was girls in the Marines? He said that women liked it when you walked around in a uniform, so he joined at the very end of the war. Just to get the uniform. Just to get the uniform the clout so he sick. could get. That is fire. Yeah, he was a, my grandfather was a fucking clout chaser. What a beast. Damn. And he would talk about how much he loves this country and how he fought and then it was like dude you didn't do shit <laughs> you didn't do fucking shit he got strange he got strange he met my grandma he was strange he was strange yeah you have to be strange to fight for this fucking disgusting country I have to agree yeah. I can't I, I don't literally don't want anyone in power to hear me say this but I have to agree mm-hmm Okay, so then that starts the uh, Korean War. Okay, so the we Korean War started about ten times so far. <laughs> <laughs> we lose that, that one. The, your <laughs> grandpa that trying to get the, pussy starts the Korean War. That's the war. end of the Korean War. That's okay. in the inspiration for the show MASH. Then no now wars for a little it. bit. Uh-huh. S- British invasion, 60s. Uh, mods. So there's all these. The mods. Okay, the w- talk about mods. Okay, yeah, so the mods, mods were, uh, there was a subculture in the 1960s where people would have bowl cut haircuts, they would wear suits all the time, they Blow would drive up. Vespas around with big mirror sets, according to the movie Quadrophenia, which The Who was uh, one of the seminal bands of the mod subculture. The mod scene in the UK was basically white kids making rhythm and blues music 
and uh, wearing suits and stuff. That's be- all that was. But then they would get into big fights on the beach with the rockers. <laughs> and this is historical fact. There's uh-huh. photos of beach fights uh-huh. between mods and rockers. They would wear zoot suits. <laughs> Mods would wear zoot suits, rockers would wear leather jackets, and they were they how liked the Elvis. Fuck, dude, how the fuck are you going to think that you can beat up rockers? Yeah. I don't know. These Especially mods these string bean yeah. ass mods. You got a bowl cut and you're wearing a, yeah. a Dick Tracy suit. You drive Tracy a scooter. Suit? These guys drive motorcycles and wear leather jackets. And tanks. Yeah. Yeah. They have and tanks. They and have th- tanks and shit. They have and machine they're guns. swinging chains around. Yeah. yeah. They had, had bike chains were a big weapon back then. I don't then. want it with no fucking rocker. No, no way. Isn't it interesting how the past mirrors the present with nowadays we have kind of rock fighting against rap and pop? Mm-hmm. And now Which the rockers are the new mods because the rockers show up with the chains and then the rappers have guns. Have guns. Yes. So they, have, yeah. they have blickies and the glizzies. Blickies and, and so the the, I think the rockers like... And it makes you, honestly, that makes me fucking terrified yeah. for in the future when the rappers are fighting whatever yes. the next genre is who have yes. laser guns and exactly. orbital missiles. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is really scary. <laughs> it's been an arms race in music. Maybe it will reset though, and the next music will be cavemen. Right. Well, no, the cavemen. I was. I'm thinking even the cavemen back then. There was probably the cavemen who are making music by dipping their fingers in the water, and it makes mm-hmm. a song that the sounds like the Uggs versus water guys. <laughs> and then the Uggs are walking around ma- making lithic scrapings <clears throat> with rocks. True. Megaliths. <clears throat> They're yep. doing that. They have a big rock that they carry over their head and smash it into a cave wall to make a drum beat. Mm-hmm. To th- and this was the original Gigi D'Agostino type music. Yes. And these guys were going around crushing the water <laughs> the water babies. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there, are you playing through a, a mammoth's trunk? Yep. Like a horn? Playing that in the trunk. Okay, so mods versus mods rockers were, on the beach. Mods I were, think, I think the rockers liked uh, drinking beer and smoking cigarettes, and then the mods were obsessed with amphetamines. Okay. And they would play really... Well, that's really why they thought that they could fight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You get a bunch of methed up kids with yeah. bowl cuts running at you. They would wear, like, nice suits and go... Cameron has one of the... You, like They would wear those big green army jackets, like the one that mm. you have. Yeah. They would wear that over their fucking, like... Uh, double-breasted suits. Yeah. Um, okay, and the Rockers, survival of the fittest, the Rockers win. The right. Rockers win, yes, mm-hmm. until the Beatles come. Mm-hmm. And the then Beatles, Beatles make everything. The Beatles weren't mods. They were Rockers. Yeah, the Who was mods. Yeah. So then the Beatles come in, and then, oh, Vietnam War, uh, mm. which <clears throat> is this causation or correlation? I don't know. We'll right. see. We'll uh, see. So Vietnam happens yeah, because rockers caused Vietnam. I think the Beatles. It's very likely. It. I think the Beatles probably had a big hand. Name in one it. other possible cause. Fireworks could be fireworks. Fireworks were not invented. Oh, yet so JFK gets West. assassinated in the middle of all this by Lee Harvey Oswald. Okay, uh, wow, strong stance. But then assassinated went, uh, by Lee Harvey Oswald. Uh, no, it didn't really happen. He gets assassinated by the CIA mm. because Whoa. Because they why? didn't like what he did with the Bay of Pi- or how he handled the Bay of Pigs. Damn, he's dropping the deep the deep parapolitics knowledge. knowledge. Um, A lot of people don't know about the Bay of Pigs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, he wanted to dis he wanted mm-hmm. to disband the CIA. Right? CIA was formed after World War II. Also, from the movie Wild Wild West. Mm-hmm. Jim West. Wild <laughs> West. Jim West. Um. So, yeah, the CIA, which you already know about, kills JFK mm-hmm. so they can put LBJ in power so that they can continue the Vietnam War because they want their resources. They want the coffee that has sugar in it, <laughs> and they want uh, banh mi and pho, yeah. which we eventually get yeah. in 72, right? <laughs> That's when Bon Me and Pho we get. We get Pho and Bon Me. We got it in 72. We got it in 72 after (laughs) Kissinger went in there and bombed the whole everything. But except for the sandwiches and the soup shops. No, those stayed. Those were resilient. Those stayed here. Mm -hmm. Those came over. We came in with helicopters. We lifted up all the soup and sandwich Uh shops. And 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 then we left a war-torn country. We were like, hey, figure it out. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah. Figure that out yourself. And now you have no food. Now you got no sandwiches. We took all your soup and your sandwiches. Now you got no French-influenced sandwiches. Which bon mei means bread. And pho means pho means soup. Fun soup. Fun soup. It's short for fun okay, soup. Okay, so Vietnam happens. What's Vietnam next? Vietnam happens. What happens next? Well, during all that, the Beatles take acid. Acid is big. There's events like the Monterey Pop I'm Festival seeing, in by, Woodstock. Sorry, real quick. I'm seeing an amazing book that you could write about two histories happening at the same time, war and music. Yeah. And where they're interacting. In the 60s? The, the war of the music, the war of music, and the music of war. Yes. by Patrick Doran. Yes, yes. Okay, mm-hmm. so 
So the Beatles, sorry. The Beatles take acid. Everyone else starts dropping acid. The Beach Boys make pet sounds. And then there's a lot of really bad music where it's just like, it's a bunch of whiteies doing blues, but then it starts getting a little bit louder. The music does. The music starts getting louder, but then there's a little band in Detroit. D12. No. Oh. The Eminem Stooges. And St. Clown Posse. The Stooges? The Stooges are making really heavy types of sounds of rock. Uh huh. Meanwhile, also in New York City, there's also the Velvet Underground, which is also doing crazy heavy kind of, well, it's more experimental stuff. Also, there's this Andy Warhol type figure named Andy <laughs> Warhol. <laughs> He's influencing all the culture at the time. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So basically, and again, after, soup. Soup. after all these people see the... Because Vietnam was the first time that we, you saw Boots on the Ground War happening. So when everyone sees all this crazy shit happening, mm-hmm. all the blood and guts and sp- children killed, mm-hmm. music starts to get heavier because everyone thinks, oh my God, this is making me so mad. So there's all these bands right. start cropping up. Black Sabbath... Uh, Alice Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> the heavy of the heavy. Mm-hmm. The heavy system of, of a the, down. Well, the. F- <coughs> mm. Wait, you mm. enjoyed I'm it. I'm getting choked mm. up. Uh, the phrase, choked up. the the phrase heavy metal didn't come around until some music journalist was reviewing the. Album, I think it's Humble Pie by Humble Pie, which I've never heard before. Or I think I tried to listen to it, and I was like, this doesn't sound like heavy metal. But he said, mm-hmm. like, this band has a heavy metal sound. And then that's when the the term metal music was created. It was a band that fucking Peter Frampton was in. Sick. Mm-hmm. Was, no, he's not. Peter Frampton's Peter a Frampton found the talk box and then only did that forever. He wanted every single song to sound like California. <laughs> Knows how to party. I like that instrument. Yeah, well, that's a good that's that's a good use of it. Mm-hmm. But he's just what's that song? Show Show me the way. I don't know, man. He's just going. Wah, 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 wah. I like those things. Talk box. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's cool sometimes. It's always. You, you don't have, have to use it every single fucking song. I actually know one Peter <laughs> Frampton song. He came. Alive. I've just been gabbing, dude. You guys have just been dude, letting me. Well, we this want, is... dude. This is what we we're trying to create. Pat, uh, Patrick Pedia. Yeah, we need a, a lot, lot of it a is lot of music history. Material. But we need you to get into. I would say we need one more war and one more music. No, you know what? I want. I want. I want something scientific. Okay. Oh. I want you to describe. Okay, here. Tell me. Tell me about how the circulatory system works. Blood. I do not know. Exactly. Wait. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, now tell gravity. me, tell me about, tell me about it, uh, about what is, wh- how do, what is an atom? An What's atom, it like in an atom? An atom makes up of all parts. <laughs> See, this is the, this is the kind of material. This is what Patrick uh-huh. Pedia is going. Ninety percent of it's going to be yeah. this. Now that I think. Well, about an it. atom is smaller than a molecule, <laughs> or it's d- made up of molecules. Keep going. At the same time, it's at the smaller, same time, but it's made it's up. It's made of up, but also smaller <laughs> than. And it consists of every single living being. <laughs> it consists of. It consists okay. of every single living being. Okay. In the country, in the world. Now tell me about gravity. Gravity is was it was discovered. He almost said it, but he really had to stop himself. Wasn't invented. It was discovered, uh-huh. or the theory of gravity mm-hmm. was discovered by Sir Isaac Neutron, mm-hmm. and it happened because an apple fell on his head. He was Which back then was light Carl. bulbs. Back then was what? Back then was their version of a light bulb. Was an apple? <laughs> <laughs> before light yeah. bulbs were invented, <laughs> an apple would on fall top. in your head. Uh-huh. And that's how you would have a eureka moment. Uh-huh. Okay, how does a light bulb work? So a light bulb works there. Okay, so it's contained in the glass thing. Right. But it's two different. There's a. What is it? Because there's that string in the middle. Right. That's what's emanating the light, and it's the two points on either side. Those that gets electricity from the uh, the thing at the bottom that's touching the metal. There's a conduction, uh huh, mm. and that conducts electricity into the light bulb, and the light bulb it bounces back. It heats up. Uh huh. Light bulbs, or tungsten light bulbs, are lit by heat. Yes, incandescent. Incandescent tungsten, whatever. Uh. 
but LED lights mm-hmm. are powered by circuits. And what about fluorescent lights? Fluorescent lights are that's like a tube of different. It's shit bouncing around in there. Yeah, it's a tube, and both sides have prongs on them, and those prongs. It's not heat though, right? Or is it heat? I don't remember it. No, because uh, uh, in a f- incandescent light creates heat, but then a fluorescent light doesn't. We're not going to answer. <laughs> I don't know. I know the answer. I don't know most science stuff. You're right. That was a beautiful explanation. You did a great you job. You were completely right. About I don't know most said. science stuff. It seems like you kind of do. You seem I remember a good chunk of sixth grade science, but because that's the last time I paid attention. Light bulb. Light bulb, light bulb hot dog, uh, how to make a hot dog cooker. Section. Here's a, okay, here's a science article. Okay, tell me. How yeah. to make an instant hot dog cooker. Uh, there's a how-to <laughs> on all, Patripedia? Yeah, it's a World War II Adams and yeah. how to make a hot dog cooker. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty simple. You take a, an old piece of electronic equipment, maybe some kind of a cable. You uh, One of those ones that has the two lines down the middle because there's the negative and the positive ends right i don't remember but so like a cable like this one okay that has the line running down the middle of it and right. you, like you cut it now. out of the thing out of the object that it's in and wait, then wait stay down there yeah, stay down there we need a picture of you okay. explaining this so you cut this maybe here you leave the outlet intact okay and you plug that into the wall while that's plugged, or, well, don't do it while it's plugged in, but you drill, you take both the ends, you fray them like this, and then you drill them, you drill a nail through it, through each of the uh, the copper wire things that are inside of it, through a uh, board of wood. So then you have these two nails a sticking A board of wood out, like what? Like Can a two by exam- four. Can you give an example in the room? <laughs> um, I guess the... This piece, this table, <laughs> we could use it. We could make one. Let's make one right now. Let's make one out of stuff in the hotel. Um, do, do we, we have a drill? A, we need a hot dog, man. We don't even have a hot dog. All right, uh, we probably have time for one more article. Okay, well, I'm not done with this one. Oh, okay. So, like <laughs> chill out. Seemed like you were done. So, you take this two by four, two nails, a frayed <coughs> wire, both ends. You take both the frayed parts drill you wrap the nail or the screw in one side and then wrap the screw on the other side drill through so that there is it looks like a it looks like a big plug you're right? doing a rock symbol yeah. yeah so this is the these are both the sides this is where the electricity comes out okay you plug it into the wall and you but before that you put a hot dog on both screws okay and What's going to happen is there's going to be an electrical current <laughs> running through both of the screws, okay. which will heat up only the middle of the hot dog. The ends will not get cooked at all. Okay, okay. that's good for me. But that's you can I like. you I kind like of lose ends. some hot dog. I like dog. first and last bite to be cold. Also, don't touch the anything. Don't touch it. Yeah, pretty smart. much. How you do you plug get it, it in? Oh, when you unplug you it, you unplug man. it, then you touch it. Oh, because yeah. I touched it when and I was I made one at home. Fied. Which I wasn't supposed to do. Mm-hmm. I made one at home. How could they expect you to not make a hot dog cooker at right? home? Right. Oh, you need also you need to put electrical tape on the bottom of the the hot screws dog. to keep that contained. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because otherwise, I mean, this could also start a fire in your home. Right. Which it's you dangerous. shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do a fire. But if you're in a pinch and you want a hot dog really bad <laughs> and you have these materials, a couple screws, a plank of wood. <laughs> Uh, electrical tape and an internet connection for the Patrickpedia and Patrickpedia. <laughs> well, you pr- hopefully would, would memorize yeah. this. Well, here I have the perfect final final page okay. for us to final article. Okay. I would like you to right now dictate and narrate the the landing page for the Patrickpedia. The welcome you open up pa- patrickpedia.com. Yes. Oh, this is what you see. This uh, describes yeah. what, what you're about see? to g- enter. Okay. So first of all, hello. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. You were about to enter a world of. Mind expanding knowledge. If you want science, please go to another website mm-hmm. because there's not going to be a lot of it. There's not going to be a, a good amount of it on here. But if you want to know how music history correlates with the world's problems, or basic paraphrased versions of how many wars there are, 
Mm -hmm. This is the website for you. And it's funded and backed by users like you. There's a donation? And the CIA. There's a donation page? There's a donation page. There's going to be a photo of me in a suit, Jimmy Mm -hmm. Wales style, pleading eyes. And what's the article of the day? The article of the day today is pho. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Pho invented in Vietnam. Patrick, keep an eye out for Patrickpedia. And this is going to be a dot org? Uh, It's got to be a dot org. It's got to be a dot org, right? Well, keep your eye out for Patrickpedia and also keep your eye out for tonight, the day that this comes out, Podcast About List will be performing in Detroit. The D. And then after that, we will be coming to Toronto and New York with a sketch group. World's, called world's biggest, biggest army. army, and the shows have been going great and fun. You'll be seriously missing out if you do not show up. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you will be seeing the podcast in Carborough, North Carolina, and then you will also be seeing the sketch group again in Atlanta and in Philadelphia. You can buy tickets to all these, see the dates and everything at swagpoop.com slash shows. You seriously don't want to miss it. Here's Come an through, idea. Man. How about I write a Patrickpedia page right now for World's Biggest Army? I think that's a great idea. Yeah. World's Biggest Army was a sketch group founded... It was. <laughs> what? Wait, Whoa. hold up. Hold on, hold on. <sighs> Let me get to the end of the okay. article. Okay. Right. World's Biggest Army was a sketch troupe founded in July 2023 by the members of Podcast About List, Home Planet, and One Pierce Campion. They did their first show in July, which was titled World's Biggest Army which then later became the name of the troop, because at first they did not have a name. I don't know if that's true. That was true. Remember. The show was titled Podcast About List, Home Planet, Pierce Campy, and World's Biggest Army. Okay. That's true. It's not true. We're going to need a reference for that. It's we said it backstage. We said, we'll just call it, let's just call it World's Biggest Army. Wait, I like that as an apocryphal, okay, legendary... Yeah. But it has, but this on Patrickpedia, this has a little question mark mm. needs citation yeah. thing in brackets. Okay. So then they did their second show in October on Halloween weekend. Halloween weekend. And then after that, they decided it would be a good idea to bring the show on the road, which they did five and a half cities. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Towards the half. Because during the May 18th show in oh. Philadelphia, oh no, no, there was a time bag Daryl incident. Oh no! And who were the victims? All but one, Joe Gleason. Wow! Damn! I guess I could see that coming. I could who survived? Only because he was too tall for a bullet to reach him. Wow! Wow! The bullet gave couldn't. Joe that Gleason high. later went on to make somber piano music. <laughs> 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 okay. Which later landed him a film score, a scoring job. Right. For? For a film by one Lars von Trier. Whoa. No, for his don't movie, tell me. Don't tell me. For his movie, Pimpo Slappyak. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we got to Pimpo Slappyak way earlier. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put a pin in that one. Yeah, we'll come back All to right. put that down in your notes app. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, bye. All right, bye everybody. <laughs> I want to talk about pepper man. Pepper. Oh my <laughs> god. We're talking Pizza. about red r- red pepper. Red flakes, pepper flakes. No pepper. You had you no had pepper. No pepper. I had red pepper on my pizza. I had pepper. And there was someone. I didn't want pepper. But I there don't was put a stuff man, on my pizza usually. There was somebody a man else wanted the in pepper. the restaurant. I just want to clear the air about You're that. Basic. Okay, somebody else wanted the pepper. Basic as fuck. But there was a man in the restaurant who was sitting at a table that had he all was alone, the And pepper. he was wearing a plaid. Mm-hmm. That's most of what and I remember. And Cameron said, I'm going to invent a song about him. <laughs> or you just, no, you didn't say you were going to invent a song about him. But you started going, Peppa Man, Peppa Man. <laughs> and then. And by the way, he could not say more than two Peppa Mans <laughs> without why like. Don't we just, why don't we just hear it? Laughing. Laughing. He's going, Peppa Man, Peppa Man, Peppa Man. Why don't we just hear <laughs> What, well, I had the genius it. idea. That's funny, man. I had the genius I was, idea to... That was to, the drunkest I've been the, for in a year. Mm-hmm. Pepper Man. I had and the I genius pe- idea I here. Saying, man, I was Pepper Man. To, I went Pepper to, Man. Uh, I pulled out my phone. I pulled out Garage Band. And he went Rick Rubin. I went Rick Rubin. I held my phone up to Cameron. And I said, let it fly. 
<laughs> and here's what we got. Is there auto tune on this? Might, there is auto tune, but it also might leave for the first one. Yeah, I don't think I've done it this many times. But then you had a great. Salt man, salt man, salt man, salt man. Salt man, salt man, salt man, salt man. Salt man, salt man, salt man. That was all camera just by himself <laughs> laughing so hard. At <laughs> Batman, <laughs> Batman, then he started saying Salt Man, Salt, salt man, man, Salt Man, Salt paprika Man, Paprika Man, Sugar Man, Sugar Man, Sugar Man, Sugar Man, Sugar Man. He said Sugar 